I gotta find a better way to organize these things. Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to be starting on my new series. This will be the inaugural video for the entire Lorem Ipsum series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the introduction video. That will get you up to speed. But for now, let's get right into it. Okay, so truth be told, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I decided what I wanted the letters to look like before I knew what word I was going to use to represent it. But it wasn't until I saw this guy that I realized what the letters obviously had to represent. And so with that, I present you with today's word, Citadel. There was a local sign shop who was kind enough to give me some of their scrap HDU, which is a fantastic material. I'll give you some more details on that later. Uh, all right, I am really excited that they decided to give me some of this stuff. It's honestly, this is pretty expensive. Now the piece I'm going to use for today's project is going to be this smaller one here. Reason being is this is a more dense form of HDU and this one's gonna have very thin walls so the extra density will go a long way to helping ensure longevity. Okay, these letters are gonna be composed of two separate pieces. There's going to be a bottom part and there's gonna be a top part. I'm gonna go ahead and tape down the top part so that I can route those out using a 45 degree angle V-bit. Once I have reached a cut depth of 0.7 inches on this one inch thick material, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to an eight inch end mill that will cut the letters and separate them from the rest of the substrate. Once that's complete, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and go ahead and start working on this bottom section. Well, these letters are finally finished being cut and as you may have noticed, they didn't get cut all the way through. I want to tell you I had a brilliant plan and a reason for that, but in reality, I just didn't have a bit long enough. Sometimes on castle walls, they have these things called buttresses. So to represent those buttresses, I ended up using a quarter inch round over bit to cut the perimeters of all these letters. Now what I'm going to do next is go over to the scroll saw and cut out half that quarter inch width. This will have a slight round over and then a vertical drop down to the base that these letters are going to be mounted on. I'll get to that later. With the letters all finished up and sanded, I can now move on to what is going to be the most important part of this process. I've been doing a lot of experimentation over here. You can see all my different samples. And I finally decided to go with something like this for the finish. What I'm trying to achieve is more of a concrete kind of look. The steps to get there, though, took me a while to figure out. The first thing I'm going to do is coat the letters in this Montana Gold tan spray paint. But the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna go in with this Rust-Oleum hammered spray paint in a gold finish. Whenever I spray this on a wet spray paint, it spreads out unevenly and it gives a unique grain to the stone finish that we're going for. After that, I'm gonna use this really cool spray paint from Rust-Oleum. It's a textured finish spray paint. Now, I would recommend probably going with something a little lighter, but this is what I had and I think it still had a nice look at the end. Once that textured spray paint is applied, I'm gonna go back with gray and brown just to add some accent colors and to try to even out any inconsistencies in the finish. If you are anything like me, you have a ton of spray paint and this provided me with the ultimate dilemma of trying to figure out what color I wanted to make the top of these letters. Once I had a nice smooth gray base using this sandable primer, I had to pick between two colors that I decided would be the best options for this project. This one is a nice gloss burgundy and oil-based enamel, and this is a nice super matte Rust-Oleum desaturated blue paint. And due to the nature of this spray paint, it required a lot of shaking in order for me to make sure the pigment was properly broken up in the solvent so that I could get a nice even coat that didn't have any issues or runs. The next dilemma I had was trying to figure out which glue to attach the top part to the bottom part. And I have a lot of different glues as well. What I ended up using was this Liquid Nails Fuse It Adhesive. So now all I have to do is run some glue across the top of the platforms on the inside of the letter base, and then stick the letter tops right on top of the glue. I ended up going with a nice, more modern looking black letter font because I think that more matched the aesthetic and the style of these letters given the context of the word citadel. 
Now that these letters have had a chance to dry and the adhesive is cured, I gotta say, these turned out so much better than I even expected at the beginning of this project. While I was waiting, I went ahead and used my new Silhouette Cameo Pro vinyl cutter to cut out a paper template to make sure that the spacing, also called the kerning, of the letters is how I had it laid out on my computer screen. This is one of the white backgrounds that I'm going to be using for my Lorem Ipsum project videos. On the back here, I have a French cleat and I have four half inch spacers on all the corners so that it offsets the, from the wall and gives it a nice drop shadow. But I also made an independent video showing the whole process from start to finish. That way I can keep these videos a little shorter. Go check that out if you're interested in seeing how these panels were made. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and start gluing down the letters to the panel using the paper template that I made. Take a look at how awesome this thing is. I could not be more thrilled with the end result. The sides look fantastic. The tops look really nice and smooth. In the end, this is a fantastic first piece in this whole series, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I can't wait to move on to the next one. I have literally about 14 to 20 of these planned. We'll see how far this ends up going. But if you want to keep up to date with these as they come out, go ahead and like and subscribe. Or if you want to see intermittent progress photos, go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. That way you can see it before it's even out on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around as always. I'll see you next time.